Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video just updating you on my life. I honestly have missed you guys so much and I miss connecting with you and telling you about what's been going on with me and just getting that interaction and that feedback. It really does mean so much to me, more than you guys will ever know. Your kind comments on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course on these videos, it really does make me feel like I'm friends with you guys and like you're actually listening to what I have to say and maybe somehow it can help you or you can at least kind of relate to me and that just honestly means the world to me and it literally makes my day every single time I see one of you guys just leave me a heartfelt message but I did want to kind of go through what's been going on definitely some good positive things and then some things that have been really scary and kind of traumatic for me to deal with and some things that I'm kind of working through so the whole kind of theme for this update video I guess is really just the idea of you know coming into new phases in life and being excited for that while also being kind of nervous and then of course you know looking back at my life and hoping that I'm making the right choices hoping that I'm going down the right path and I have mentioned this many times. I'm sure if you watch my videos, you probably know this by now. I am such an overthinker. I overthink every action, scenario, conversation, just everything. It's just the way that I am. And while it has helped me a lot, it definitely has given me a lot of insight on people. I've been able to pick up on things that maybe you wouldn't notice if you weren't as, um, I guess, just, I don't know, involved in, you know, paying attention to things. And, you know, for for those reasons, I do appreciate that about myself, but the negative aspect of it comes when I'm making big decisions about my life and I really just overthink things. The fact of the matter is you are really one step from you know changing your life in different ways. And I know I have a quote that I really like that I actually send to my friends quite often and we talk about it and it's so relevant right now because if you move to a new place or you take a new job or you meet a new person, there are so many different things that you can do in life that will just kind of put you on a different path. And, you know, to me, it's always a little bit nerve wracking to wonder, like, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing what's ultimately going to be the best for me? And sometimes I've been a bit paralyzed just in making decisions because I've been so nervous about making the wrong decision. But I've realized that making no decision is doing the worst thing of all. And that's really just holding you back from truly going forth and moving on with your life. And that's really what I've been focusing on and it's actually been working out really well for me. I do wanna to touch on, I have a friend that has been my friend for a very long time and it's crazy to look back on when she was just starting college because she just recently graduated and she moved to Dallas and got a job with her dream company in fashion and she's so excited and happy about it and I'm so proud and thrilled for her and it's really been cool to kind of see that whole transition and just to really recognize like within someone else, like we're growing up and I think Oftentimes we get so caught up in you know our day-to-day -day life and things that we're dealing with and you kind of don't sit and notice how much progression you're making in life until you notice someone else and like I've been able to see you know wow like she's done so much she's finally gotten to the place that she wants to be at and I've kind of reflected on my own self and been like wow, you know, I'm really happy at this point. I'm, you know, working on some exciting things and it's just kind of crazy to see how life goes. But anyways, I actually went to Dallas and celebrated her birthday with her. We went out to the Dallas bars. It was really fun. I had a lot of you comment actually that you're from Dallas. So if you are from Dallas and you live there, I'm definitely gonna be coming back probably at least once a month because I just had an amazing time. I love the people that I met there and I would love to hang out with you guys if you happen to live there. So definitely, you know, hit me up on Instagram or something in the DM. I know that's so silly, but honestly, I have met so many cool girls from Instagram DMs, which sounds funny, but like, I don't know. I think you can kind of tell through my videos and through Instagram and stuff. Um, let me know if you guys feel this way about other people as well, but I think you can kind of tell like when you would be friends with someone and it's like this cool bond, I guess, that you create through that. So like I said, I've definitely met a lot of girls that are really cool and amazing and, you know, it's crazy to think that maybe I wouldn't have met them if I never mentioned in my videos that I would like to meet people and stuff because I've had some really awesome people reach out to me and it means a lot. But like I said, in Dallas, we also went to a Dallas Stars game on Saturday, amazing. It was so cool to see hockey up close like that. I really do enjoy hockey, so that was just a really, really fun event to attend and I'm glad that we did it. And now I'm back and I've just been working on my store a lot. I really wanted to give an update because I've had so many questions about it. I haven't released the Instagram and I haven't, you know, released the website yet because I have so much stuff actually 
actually. And I've been going through taking the pictures, uploading it, working on the website, and I'm doing it all myself. So it's been kind of a lot, but I love it. I'm definitely someone who needs a creative outlet. I need to be constantly doing things, coming up with new ideas, just being innovative. For me, that's when I'm the most happy. I know that when I'm not doing that, I get really just kind of down. Like I don't like feeling that way. So while it's amazing and it's really energizing me and refreshing me, it's a ton of work and it's hard to do it all on my own. So I will be announcing everything, releasing everything, letting you guys check out all the designs really soon. I know I've said that and it's annoying, but it's coming. I'm just really trying to make sure that it's perfect and make sure that it's all the way that I want it. I have been working on some cow schools, which are super cool and amazing. And I just think they're gonna look so awesome in people's bedrooms and their living rooms as really cool statement pieces. So that's been really fun. But again, just a lot of actual work very tedious, but I'm really thrilled with the way that they've turned out. Of course, on the flannels, I've gotten so many new flannels and I've been working on dyeing them and changing up the colors. And it's so cool to see them all lined up because all the colors look so beautiful. And I know we're coming into spring soon, which will be the perfect time to wear one of my dip dyed flannels with some vintage Levi ripped distress denim shorts. And I just think that will be the cutest outfit ever. And I definitely am planning on having the website and the Instagram up before spring so that you guys can make sure to check all that stuff out because like I said that's gonna be like my go-to outfit this spring so I'm really thrilled about that and I wanted to express my gratitude for just the positivity and the support I've gotten about that you guys have been so nice about it and I honestly was really nervous when I posted pictures on Instagram wearing some of the merchandise and stuff I just was worried about the response and if you guys would like it and you guys have been so nice and it makes me so so happy so now after we're talking about all the happy nice great things I do want to talk about something a bit more serious and something that has been like a very big struggle with my life. I've gotten some questions about why I haven't really been sharing as much with you guys, why I haven't been uploading as frequently, haven't been like, you know, letting you in on my personal life, my dating life, my relationships, you know, where I'm going, when I'm going there and stuff like I used to do, um, even like the vlogs and stuff. And it's honestly because I've been having an issue with someone on my public Facebook account. And this has been going on for... Honestly, it feels like so long, but it's probably been a few months, maybe kind of going on six months. And I will go ahead and insert some of the messages that I've screenshotted because they have just gotten to a level that is not okay at all. And I know a lot of you will probably be like, you know, don't feed the troll, don't give them attention, that's what they want. But honestly, at this point, I'm mentioning it because it's actually starting to genuinely scare me. I get a lot of questions from people wanting to start, you know, fashion blogs or travel blogs or do, you know, YouTube like I do and they ask me, you know, what's the negative? And I often say, of course, you know, the bad comments are kind of hard to deal with, but eventually you become kind of numb to them, which is sad. But I can honestly say I've never had this level of threatening and persistent threatening. And like I said, it's gotten to a point where I've been scared. Like I go to bed at night and I think about these things that this person is writing to me and it just makes me feel sick. And the really difficult part is I have blocked their account at least, and I'm not exaggerating, at least probably 75 times. They just create a new account and write something again and again and again and again. And I'll go on to my messages to try to respond to you guys and then the top message every single time. So there's honestly not a lot I can do. I've been kind of frustrated with Facebook because I don't understand how I can continue to block someone and they're allowed to just continue coming back to my page, making new accounts over and over again, um, especially with the content of their messages. They tell me they want to cut off my head. They want to mutilate my dog. They want to see me get ran over by a train. Um, the most recent one was one about like cutting out my heart and hoping that it's still beating. And just like this stuff that's honestly sick and I'm hoping that by making this video he will stop because I have to admit I did try to reason with him a while ago. He was telling me that he was having some suicidal um, issues and I told him that you know I would try to help but I really wasn't in a position to be capable of that honestly and that I thought he should seek more professional help and that was my best advice. And he seemed, you know, willing to kind of communicate with me a bit. Um, but then it's just gotten so much worse and it's gotten out of hand. And like I said, this is honestly me kind of coming clean about the fact that that has been really scaring me lately. And it's been making me not want to film, which is really sad. And, you know, I don't want him to ruin the amazing connection that I have with you guys. But he has been genuinely threatening me and it's gotten 
you know, to a point that it's not okay. So, you know, I know that he watches all my videos and I'm hoping that by me mentioning this, he will stop because, you know, the next, I guess, phase from here is just going to get more serious and there's not really much I can do at this point. Um, I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to talk about this with you guys because it's just... I don't know like I, I feel almost embarrassed for like being as afraid of it as I am but at the same time like if you have someone repeatedly telling you that they want to kill you that they want to murder you like it does get to you eventually and like I'll get silly stupid comments like oh you know you're ugly you're fat I hate you you suck but getting ones like they want to cut off my head and drink my blood and all this stuff like it's just it's a whole nother level of something that I really wouldn't wish on anyone else because it sticks with you. No matter what, like you remember those words and when you go to sleep at night, it's in your mind and it's horrible and just, I don't know, it's really been bothering me lately. So I hate to end this video on kind of a negative note, but I did want to just be very open with you guys about why I've been a bit back on social media lately and that's kind of what's been going on. So I do hope, like I said, that by talking about it, um, at least now he knows that other people know and maybe he will stop. But like I said, the bigger part of this is I appreciate all of your support and I love you guys so much. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching me and you'll see me soon. Bye.